Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. Uh, things look different, that's because they are. Uh, sadly, things with the, uh, the new Unity build didn't work out too well. They had some issues, and then they tried to fix the issues, and it basically left everybody in a state of unable, being unable to play their game. So they had to do a rollback back to version 0 0.9, 0 0.0, 0 0.4. And I decided, well... Just for the hell of it, let's start from scratch. So I went ahead and started a new save file. I'm just kidding. Uh, everything's over there. I decided uh, for today's project, since we did did the rollback, we went back in time. I thought I'd, I'd revisit one of the pro very first proper builds I did, and that was the pirate ship. And I started thinking about that one when I did that little think outside the box video. And one of the things I, I was sad about with that build, too, was the fact that I couldn't color it. Uh, it was nice. I loved the way it was just so smooth going back and forth like that. Yes, uh, that area was possessed and it did have some issues. But I thought I'd give it a shot. I'm going to shot today make it a little bit bigger. Uh, I'm going to use hover pad instead of wheels this time. I'm just going to have one in the center and then we'll control it. I thought about trying to get, like... Like on uh, the actual ride, there's a set of wheels that uh, turns in the direction of the boat. So as it goes past, the wheels stop, start spinning the other way. So as, as it comes back this way, it goes back up. And I was thinking of using the reconnection of the switchboard. So when the switchboard gets up to here, it turns these hover pads on, and those ones disconnect, and then pushes it back forward that way. Uh, it is possible, but on the the way we have to work with it it might not be feasible you know what I mean like I, I can only just because block clipping and whatnot so I'm just gonna do it the way it was before where I was in the cockpit and I was just controlling forward backward forward backward or left right left right depending on how it works out so uh, I'm gonna get a base set up and then I'll bring you back green trees pink trees Green trees, pink trees, green trees, pink trees. I tell you, my mind in the wrong hands can be a very terrible thing. I started thinking about it. Do I really want to build it up there? It's a pirate ship. It should be in water. And I was looking around. And I saw a little pond over there, but I want to try to... I don't want to go any closer that way than here. Uh, just because I want to keep the conveyors out of any loaded areas because I'm actually enjoying the frame rates here, <laughs> to be quite honest. But I started thinking, well, let's find some water. And then I went out here and I was started laying the pad out to cover the whole thing because it's in because the water or as close as I could. And I started thinking, well, wait a minute. Why, is it, why does it have to stop just above here? Why don't I have it dip down through the water a little bit? So I have a little bit of room here. So when I build the the ship, I'm actually going to have it about two blocks down, two or even three blocks down, so when it goes through, even though it's not going to splash because this technically isn't water, but it had a nice effect. So the sun's going to be going down pretty quick, but now to get the uprights, I'm going to be building on a 45 up, so the center is basically going to be here, and I'm going to go from the corners up, go as high as I can, and then build the ship from there and see how big it is. So let me get the uprights in place and uh, bring it back and hopefully we'll have some morning sun. All right, the sun's coming up and I'm just about done. I actually had to move one of these because uh, I wasn't thinking about it, that I'm built on evens here, but because I'm using a central pivot point that I need to have this on an odd, so I had to actually already had this side completely built when I got up there and realized, wait a minute, I got a two block gap, that's not right. So I had to redo it. Uh, also, I uh, forgot to mention, I'm sure you've all already noticed it, uh, I am using a new microphone, so I'd like to get some feedback on how it sounds and uh, what could be done to make it sound better. Uh, I've been trying to tweak it the last couple of days, I'm getting a little bit better. I'm so used to my old setup I'm just trying to get used to this and seeing this thing in front of me but yeah it's a blue Yeti by the way in case you're wondering so this is what we're gonna do here so this this is gonna be our central pivot we're gonna start at this end I'm um, actually enjoying the fact that these lock now so we don't have to worry about this rotating so then I 
going to build a cross. Now this is where it's going to get tricky. Uh, I'm pretty sure these things will hold. I have seen them do some amazing things. So what I need to do is, I need, I've talked to, about this before, is uh, capturing a block, or how I call it, and closing it. Uh, I actually have an idea that might be able to help us with things like this. I might run into suggestion with uh, the devs and see if they can make it work. And it should be realist, theoretically possible. Uh, it could result in people doing some serious damage to their game if they really want, but that's up to their discretion. But anyways, so I've noticed sometimes when you place, when you have a, a rotating plate at a block and you go to place a block, sometimes you almost get two snapping points. So what I like to try to do is I like to come, come from the top and as soon as it snaps, it's I know it's on there. And I'll go ahead and finish it up. Now, you, you should be able to actually see this. There is actually a gap between these two blocks. And that's what's going on is because technically we have multiple centers of mass. We have the structure which is down here, which includes these uprights here. We have the beam going across, which is this one here. Uh, and then we have the one block over here. The reason why we don't have the one block over there is because it's actually technically attached to this center of mass here. So this is where things get confusing for the game because it doesn't know that this is actually supposed to be part of this. So that's what makes it kind of tricky to do stuff like this with. But anyway, so, so all I do then is I just go ahead and place on that edge here at this edge here. And then I always fill it in. I make sure, like you can see, the texture is clearly broken there. So you know that this is completely isolated. And then go ahead and place a couple more blocks on top. And this one, because this locks now, it doesn't rotate on its own, it should all completely fill. And you can see that the texture is broken along here too as well. So that means that this is completely enclosed. There is no way for this to come out whatsoever. We can pull on this with a 40 ton beast if we want. All we want and we won't have any problems. And you know we will. We uh, will put it to the test anyways. We'll leave it here. So now, now, we're just going to fill on the other side. Uh, we're going to start building the ship downwards, but I want to first do the, the propulsion system first. And I got to admit, it's, the frame rate around here is really smooth. I'm, I'm absolutely loving it. I know it's something I talked about when I started this, se the, this season, but I was, that I was going to start spacing my builds out, my projects, and have different areas, and I never did, and now I got... The Lagtropolis. Oh, there's an autosave, and it's actually not that bad around here. Anyway, so uh, the whole propulsion is going to be a two hover pads. Really simple. Uh, directional should be enough, or uh, steering should be enough. Why do you do not want to place there now? Yeah, there we go. Because it's these these rotors have a an odd hitbox. It's uh, I think it's technically two separate blocks. Not 100% sure, but anyways, that's that. That's going to be oh directional, even better. Now let's get build vision on so I can see which way. So and as long as we have it mirrored, like so, when I push forward, they're both going to pull this way, and when I push back, they're both going to pull this way. Uh, we should take to be able to flip this thing around a few times, no problem. So now to get the get the boat. I'm thinking about actually decorating it with sails and whatnot, just for just for kicks. Actually, how many blocks do we have here? Maybe we can do one center post coming off the middle. Use that as the main mast. So, all right, let's see here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 10, of course. Well, it's going to be the main mast, so we'll double it up. 1, 2, 3, 4. And there. Just like so, and build that down. Not out, but down. 
And like so. So I'm gonna get this down all filled in and we'll start working on my, I guess we'll call it the poop deck. I have no idea. Okay, I decided to build it all the way down to the bottom here as far as we're gonna go and that's gonna be as far as it goes. So a nice flat area at the bottom of this little pond here. And we'll go from there. And, oh. Okay, I'm sitting too long, sorry about that. And I was thinking about it. Sorry, it was a blood-sucking vampire and I had to deal with him. Uh, I was actually thinking about it now, maybe I should have made this a little bit wider, but too late, too late. So now, I think it's going to be a lot of small block on this one, which is a good thing we're actually outside of lag range. And to get an idea of how high I want this, it's actually sort of lighter brown. There's an orange. It's a shame we don't have like a... RGB palette. Let's see, where do I want this? Just trying to think of where I want the the main deck, where the cockpit, where the cockpits are going to be. I'm thinking about having uh, since we're on even here. I get. I originally was going to have try to have four with one block in between, but since we have a an even, we'll do one in the middle and then one on either side, and we'll try to get. I don't know, we'll try to get it for like 16, 20 people on it or whatever. And then it's going to go out, one, two, three, and we're going to be limited to building there. So that's going to be as wide as our pirate ship. Remember when you were a kid? I don't know if you ever did this when you were a kid, where you'd put your fingers in your mouth, in your cheeks, and you pull out, and you try to say things like puck and pirate ship and stuff like that. Oh, the things you did when you were a kid. And going along, uh, I'm going to try to get a little bit of curvature going with this one too. I'm just going to give you a rough idea of what I'm thinking about doing. Uh, let's see here. we got a little bit of room. So it is going to be stepping up. I don't know if I want to go with the slopes or not. And I probably will since I already have them on the bar. May as well. May as well push that part count. And then we do that. Actually, that'd be good for a rail. But you're gonna get the idea. I'm gonna sort of step it up a little bit as I go towards the back, and then I'll bring you back when I've got the <coughs> main floor set up. Okay, so here's sort of sort of my layout. So it's gonna be sort of like the the actual thing where it's got sort of a curvature to it. I'm not exactly too sure if it's actually gonna hit or not. I'm actually a little worried about that. But I think it should be okay. Uh, I think we might actually have to give it even a bit, of, a bit of a test run to make sure it's not going to hit. I think I might be too far out, though. We'll see. You might even just leave it like this, just for kicks. Maybe I'll maybe I'll put a, another layer of blocks in, like keep this as thin as possible, and then maybe right about here, I'll start adding another row of blocks because I know I've got three in the water. But that's the thing is when this pulls back, maybe the, the nose might hit the ground. So it's something I gotta watch out for. Oh, I missed the, missed the block up there. But anyways, let's go ahead and uh, fill this in. So it's gonna be all brown. I've been thinking about like what I'm gonna use for decorations and I think I might, uh, might use like conveyors for, instead of using uh, having a railing, you know, they have the, I don't know what they're called, the uh, little, bulkheads they tie the knots on again I don't know the actual terminology I'm not a I'm not a sailor never I think a boat I've ever been on was a ferry and a canoe I'm a I'm Canadian of course I've been in a canoe I think just what every Canadian out there has been in a canoe I'm doing brown right uh, yep yeah I am doing brown so yeah I'm gonna fill this in and I think we might have to Give, give the drive a bit of a test, see if it's actually going to hit the bottom, how much clearance we have. So, give me a moment here. Okay, so I've been thinking about it, and you know what? We're not going to bother trying to build within the limits. We're going to make it fit. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. They changed the color of the beam, so it goes red when you're using uh, the right click, and it's blue when you're using the left click. 
I forgot about that. Now my anchor point is at the shore, so as long as as long as I only excavate underneath the opening here, I should be okay. Gotta love abusing game mechanics, huh? It's a good thing about this voxel-based terrain generation. Is you can do stuff like this. In the real world, you know this would be caving in left, right, and center, but at the same time, too, I wouldn't be having this structure. What? Oh, I'm <laughs> like, where am I? And I realized I was actually inside the pirate ship. But you know what I mean? We wouldn't have this 20 ton, ton structure just cantilevering off a tiny little anchor point. But. So this is basically all the space we need. So we got a nice little trench here. I should go up and get some oxygen before I suffocate. All right, and we should have enough room. More than enough. So let's get out of here before I drown. Oh, I said before I drown. All right. So now, I gotta get the sides in. Uh, I'm gonna tr try to cope with those auto saves. Uh, I'm gonna try to use the slopes on the sides here, try to get it. Nice little curvature in the hull. And I'll probably go down about four blocks just to touch the water or something and same on the front. And then I'll bring you back when I've got that done. Okay, there she is. Uh, it doesn't look too bad. I'm probably gonna put a little, a little bit more work into it. Uh, I tried to get a little bit of, you know, front end looking a little bit semi-realistic as you can see so when it comes out of the water that's what we're gonna see uh, I didn't really worry about the underneath of it because I really don't care <laughs> it's a lot of work and I want to try to minimize it so now now we have our ship uh, let's get our seats in place and I'm gonna go with the small 2x2 two two cockpit here or 2x3 and I apologize for my hair hitting the microphone so then, yeah, it's a uh, color seat we have here. Let's go with black. They could be the cannons. I know there's really no point in having this many on here because we're never gonna have this many people on in this world. So yeah, I'm gonna do two there, and then I'm gonna do one on this side. And then I'll mirror it, mirror it over here, and then we'll get some, uh, get a couple little decorations going around here, and uh, bring you back when I, I'll bring you back and then we'll try to get some sails up. Okay, that's what I got so far. That's actually not looking too bad. Uh, we're going to get a main sail on here. Ooh, dip into the water there, get a main sail, and we get a small one in the front and back too. Uh, sadly, the sail can't be too much wider than the boat just because of these supports. Uh, yes, I, did, I ran out of supplies. I needed the Mark 1 composites for the cockpits because I didn't anticipate I'm building, building so many of them. But anyways, let's go ahead and uh, get some sails up. So we're going to switch back to this hot bar. And we are definitely, yes, we are going to get some sort of curvature in, in it. Not a whole lot. Thank God we don't have air resistance in this game. And I think let's do this proper. I don't know how far I want to go up. Let's see here. Start here, and then we're gonna. No, we're actually gonna. Don't want to build it out too much. It's not that windy of a day. So I don't like that. Oops. Not there. I don't want to be wasting the blocks. What do I have for plates? Yeah, you know what? Maybe we will use the slopes on this one. Just because. It's not like I haven't pushed apart count yet. Alright, so let's go to three then. So we'll do this. And let's actually start from the bottom. Get a better idea of where I want the sail. All right, so it's gonna start there. Uh, 
Actually, you know what? I will have to have single blocks. So we'll go there. And then... Oh. Get my axis all right here. And like so. And then we'll do one more out. And then we'll start going back in. Uh, that's actually the wrong block I want to put there. Not that it matters, but, you know... Might as well try to get a little bit of detail into my builds once in a while. Okay, like so. And then we'll go up like four blocks and then do a return. Three, four. And yeah, then I'll close it off, bring it out to the edge, and I'll bring it back when I got something. Alright, there she is. I think we are done. It actually doesn't look that bad, surprisingly. Uh, the only thing we have left to do is we got to get our, our drive set. We may have to move these out one block. I highly doubt, though. Now, the only thing we have to do is place enough blocks around to make sure that the hover pad's got enough to grab. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it going too far out. So we'll go two extra on each side. We only techni technically only need one more, but more the merrier. I'm gonna make sure there's no blocks touching either. And this wasn't that expensive of a build, to be honest. I think I started with like, I think I had like 1,400 plates. I don't know how many I got left now. It kinda looks ugly now, but whatever. I'm not rebuilding it. It's already this late in the, the build. We're not making any compromises, except for that. And we'll just round the top off a little bit. That's actually why I had this out. Nope, not that one. This one. Just because. And just in case anybody says something, I'll even do the bottom corners there too. And here I am just shooting my gun left, right, and center, not realizing I haven't made a, an actual save in a little while. Other than auto saves, but I don't trust those things. All right, so we just do this on this side, do the same on the other side. Uh, I got the hover pads already set up. I just gotta get a power source. I think I have to go back to Lag Central to get some deuterium. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, yeah, I'll bring you back when she's running. Okay, I am just coming back from the, the refinery. You know, from down up here, it actually doesn't look that bad. Oh, look at that landing. It's like a bird. I keep thinking it's actually bigger than it really is. It's actually landing on the ground. I had to go back and get some deuterium. I was was thinking about just getting this thing solar powered. But the problem is, is I don't have enough composites to, to make the batteries. So I'd have to get that stupid little thing up and running. But we don't need it because we've got a big old Jenny. We're actually going to hide this under underwater too. Maybe we'll put it under here somewhere. Uh, let's see, nine. We'll just drop you there. I don't care. Oh, yeah. I should put those back in the fire. Uh, I got to get the switchboard set up. So let me save you the hassle here. Okay, moment of truth. Look at that, 300 hours to power two hover pads. Alright, so the only thing we have to let do, and I almost forgot about this, is we have to unlock these, these rotating plates. Be free, my pet, be free. We're also going to find out how well this is weight balanced right now. That's actually really good. Again, it almost like I knew what I was doing. All right, let's go for a spin. Let's go hop in the back seat, shall we? Are they actually doing something? We might have to get a little bit more horsepower. 
That's okay because that's an easy fix. And I will do that. All I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put one block out on either on three sides. We're going to get six hover pads up there, and that should do the job. Okay, three times the hover pads, three times the speed, three times the power. In theory, you never know what's going to happen. Uh, turn that off just because I was sleeping, passing the night. So I'm going to same thing. I'm going to go take the back seat here, and we're going to see how it works. Uh, again, again, I forgot to unlock this. Alright, let's try this again. It's working. I don't know how high we're going to be able to get it. Hover pads definitely need more power. Or just need more hover pads. I'm going to go with the ladder. And there we go. We have a working pirate ship. Pirate ship ride that actually looks a little bit better. It's got some color. Uh, I'm pretty sure the water isn't creating drag because the water isn't actually a physical object in this game. It's just a skin that tells the game, well, if the character goes below that level, do the water animation. And that's all it really is. Look at that. Ooh. We're actually picking up some height here. Oh, that was so close on the back end. Let's see if we can get this thing to flip over. I think we might be able to do it. Come on. We can do it. Perfect time for a screenshot right here. You think we can do it? I think we can. Boat looks more like a shoe than anything. Yeah, we're not going to be able to make it. If I had one more hover pad, it would probably work. But there we go. This is the first ride of what I'm going to temporarily call BC Park. Uh, we're actually going to start working on a little bit of amusement park here from time to time, adding rides. I'm gonna, I want to get the, the Orbitron, the, the gyro again. Uh, I want to get the Scrambler going again. Uh, that was the, some of you know that as Lagzilla. That's all I'll say. Lagzilla, Lag Monster, the Lag Beast. And yeah, another one I've been wanting to work on for a while. Um, I'm trying to figure out one of the mechanics of how I'm going to implement it in the game. Uh, let's see if we can stop myself here. Uh, close enough. But there we go. Let's try not to get hit on the way out. But there we go. My pirate ship. It was an interesting build. I actually want, like I said, I wanted to revisit this one for a little while. Especially ever since we got the color. It's like, yeah. We need to get this one going. But anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave your like. And I'll see you in the next one. Later.